Meow. Ugh. Ugh. Off we pop. Every feckin' morning. Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Have you out? Have you been waiting here long? Uh, 10, 15 minutes. That's... But I've got a feeling I'll do the driving from now on. Like once, just once, just once, I'd love you to just when I'm leaving, you leave, and we get in the car together. Yeah, it I never know. Happens. I'm still doing my makeup. I was sat there five minutes. I wasn't late. I'm not late. Look, right, you weren't late. Let's kill. Let's ground. Forget about it. Yeah, I know it is. Love's in the air. Do 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 do. Because it's Valentine's Day, Yeah. It's a bit early for That's singing, it. yeah. It's good though, isn't it? It's lovely. Enjoy the uh, Valentine's romantic breakfast I set up for you. I did. It was lovely. Thank it you. It was a nice setup, wasn't it? Yeah. The pudding shaped like hearts. Yeah. The egg shaped like hearts. Uh huh. Potato cakes shaped, shaped like, like hearts. Yes, it was all lovely. Thank you for that. I'm glad you picked up on it. It's no problem, like, you know, it's a special day in the calendar. It's nice to mark it in a special little way. I suppose so. Here, hit me up with the news. Okay. What's going where, on today? Where, where should we go for our daily intake of mediocrity? Do you want a daily mail? Kim Kardashian has been. She's not well. No, she's worried that there's a new sex tape coming out. She has a stockpile of those bad boys ready to throw out yeah. anytime she wants to buy a new handbag. No doubt. And do you know why I'm not worried about the sex tape coming out? Why? Because we have made one. That's what you think. Prima donna girl, yeah. All I ever wanted was the world. I can't have that. I need it all. The prima donna life, the rise and fall. You say that I'm kind of difficult, but it's always someone else's fault. Got you wrapped around my finger, babe. <laughs> wish. You can count on me to misbehave. Hey, Madonna. Prima donna girl. And uh, the chocolates, you, you like them? I did. The. The uh, teddy bear I got you? Yeah, I liked it all. Frigal. All these things I yes, got you, you like? I liked the chocolate, the flowers, the teddy. I liked it all. The no, perfume, just, it was no, lovely. No Thank problem. you. No problem. Neve, stop. Right. You're, you're grand. It's just it's the thought. Thought that counts. Yeah. Oh, oh, I never gave you anything. Hang on. Oh, shit, sorry. I got you. What's this? What? You didn't. I did. You didn't. Tell me your thoughts. Yeah, well, I was thinking, you know, those, uh, you know, those, like, kind of, like, for want of a better word, like, hipster restaurants in town, you know, they've, they've got, they sell, like, one thing, like, bangers and mash and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, um, the one you're talking about went out of business, but I know what you mean, yeah. Oh, uh, well, OK, right, fine. But you know, you know, you know what I'm on about, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking of one that just sells, like, chip buddies with, like, fancy bread, fancy sauces, just, Chip buddies, nice and simple. Nice. And you can only order your food through, I don't know, Twitter or Facebook or... I actually think that's a really good idea. Yeah. I think it'd be all right, wouldn't it? You could call it... This is, this is your area now. Potatoes are us. No. It's thick chips. You don't have to come up with now, just... Hip chips. Hip chips! Hip chips! Yeah. Not... The hip chips? Yeah. Wow, isn't that good? Oh, right, that was shit. Well, yeah, I mean, you do this for a living. Will you get out of the feckin' way, you dope, you? Jesus Christ. Calm down. They women drivers. You've got your eyebrows on. Your frowners. Nothing wrong with women drivers. And even if there is, you shouldn't be shouting at them like that. What if that was me? What if that was me in someone else's car? It's not very nice, Johnny. Listen, hun. Nobody knows the back of your head like I do. <laughs> You're disgusting. I can't believe it. I, I thought, I, I knew you had something up your sleeve, like, you know, it's... 
It's uh, you haven't you haven't ridden, you haven't rode anything there. Like, yeah. What I did? Look. You just signed your name. Yeah, underneath the nice messages that was already there. Read it back to me. Happy Valentine's Day, Neve. What you should do is, right? Yeah. Get a van. Yeah. Start the business in a van. Hijacking my idea now, but yeah, go on. Helping, yeah. not hijacking. Oh. Take the van to like, you know, those kind of like foodie markets on the canal. A van, like a chip, please, we're selling chips. It's a chip van, you're, you're describing what he does, the man there. It's not, you know, it's not like, I'm talking about something Brand. with a fixed premises that isn't like a chip van. If you're serious about this. Which I'm probably not, but yeah, come on. <laughs> Will you get up there on me way I'm coming through? Will you get out on me way coming through? You're such a typical lion. See myself more as a tiger base, but whatever. No, I mean you're such a typical Leo. Not this plate shite again. Right. It's not shite, Johnny. I'm telling you. It's the moon that has you in this kind of a mood. It's you being late that has me in this mood, Jenny. No, it's not me, it's the moon. I'm telling you. Look. Oh, you've lost interest already, haven't you? Well, yeah. I, I like to wave. Business. Yeah, I like to wave from the sidelines of life. I, I have an idea, and I, yeah, I've lost interest. <laughs> I don't know. So the jigs and the rails, I've lost interest. But I actually think it's a really good idea, and I was gonna say you should talk to my mom about maybe lending you some money. I what? No, I. Your mom fucking hate, hates me. Yeah, well, I just didn't know you were gonna go to so much effort again this year. But had I, I would have got you something else, like. Yeah. Thought the counts, I suppose, anyway, you know? Look, how about I cook us a nice dinner this evening? Neve, Make it up to you. I think you should step away from the kitchen. Have it that cordoned off. Take a tape around it. There's nothing to see there, OK? Virgo, just please speak English. I've set up a six-course Nigelissimo extravaganza. Six courses? Gastronomical. Um, yeah, you know I'm trying to lose weight, yeah? Six courses? With the weight talk, you're absolutely gorgeous, you know. We'll lie to her. And say what? We'll say we need the money for IVF. Ah, that's a good, that's a perfect alternative. I see what you've done there. You've identified that I'm a little embarrassed about asking your mother for money, being a 30-year-old man, and you've made it exponentially more fucking scarlet for me. Thanks a million. No, that's a better idea, definitely. <laughs> I'll give you something to think about, right? You know me mate Carl, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Carl was born on the same day as me, the same hospital, right? Yeah. Now, I think we were probably switched at birth, given that his dad is sound the money, the dope. Ah, your dad's not a dope. But anyway, listen, listen, listen. So he's born the same day as me, therefore he should have the same star sign as me, he should be the same characteristics as me, yeah. is that right, yeah? Yeah. Right. Carl lives at home with his parents. Yeah, but... Carl is 20 stone. Yeah, but... Carl hasn't walked in four years. Yeah, but... Carl, let's go! Yeah, but Carl is very good at Call of Duty. What? Well, how about after dinner, I give you a special kind of present. You know, you could just lie back, relax, and, you know, let me do all the, uh, all the work. I will do the washing up afterwards. I'll take care of any sort of chores. That's not what I meant. Hoovering then. I know that Landon needs doing. I'll sex, do it. Virgo, I was talking about sex, you know? I was thinking I could do things to you and for you and with you that you've only ever really imagined doing. I, I, you know, I, I've never been one to, to, to turn down a bit of Like that perfume I got you, babes? Yeah. Love that aftershave you got me. We're, we're both gonna smell fantastic. What about the card? Do you like the card? I have butterflies on it. You know, I don't like butterflies. I thought it was Matsy didn't like. Oh, I don't like either of them. They're just so fluttery and. Ooh. Right. Yeah, that perfume you got me. Kind of unusual. 
very pungent, all right. It has a bit of a tang about it. I uh, I saw the emblem on the front it said it was unisex, so you know, maybe <clears throat> I could wear it as well. Yeah. Into the left, into the left lane. You never said anything to me about the book. Did you read the chapters I gave you? Uh, yeah, I did, yeah. I had a look through. And? I, yeah, I mean, like, it, it's it's good. It's well spaced out. There's lots of, uh, you know, it's spelling and everything is really good. And, uh, the, and it's not too long as well, which is nice. So, yeah, no, good job all in all, I suppose. Okay. Where did you get it? I got that perfume in a shop. Yeah, what shop? A, a, a shop, you know, where you get stuff, where I got all the other stuff for you, the chocolates and that. You got all the presents in the same shop? It was a great place. We sell everything. Uh, chocolates, perfume, garden rakes, kitchen utensils, the whole shebang, like. What's the name of the shop? Two Euro Land. Jesus, we're going to park in some kind of weird looking rash or something. Yeah, I did scratch around after I applied it to my wrists the other day, so I'm, I'm wondering about that myself. Lovely. Thanks. Uh, what about, like, the characters, the story? I, I, honestly, I, it's fucking relentlessly erotic. I, I, really erotic. So what? Uh, well, yeah, no, it's fine. It's grand, but it starts off as this, like, nice little dainty kind of period piece, and then it it's like bull whips and dildos, and it, it, it gets really fucking messed up. Like, I know, I know. Really quite quickly. I mean, I, I don't know, like, the continuity. Like, it, it, it's not the sex, it's the sheer amount of sex. And also the, the kind of all the, the stand-up 69 thing. Do you ever think we're stuck in a bit of a rut? Fergal put up a picture on Instagram today of all the stuff he got named for Valentine's Day. Chocolates and a teddy and he made her a big breakfast and everything. Well, that bottle of perfume I got you was bloody expensive. Yeah, and do you remember what you got me for Christmas? Um, yeah, the, um... 250 euro clothes voucher. That cost me 200 euro, the clothes voucher. <laughs> I'm, I'm not looking forward to today at school. Kids running around, hormones all playing silly buggers. Yeah, like I just have to work with drug addicts all day, but you know, I'm sure kids can be pretty hard work too. They can, they can, Niamh. Uh, yeah. Kids can be cruel. How that's can they that's be... a saying, that's a saying. How can they be cruel, Fergal? Well, last year they bought a bunch of flowers and sent it to another teacher with a love note attached. What? By me, apparently. Which teacher? Miss Gilfoyle. You never told me this. Sure, I did. I think I mentioned it. No. Which one's she again? The kind of tall, kind of horsey looking one? She, yeah, she has a, a very large set of gnashers on her eye. They, they wouldn't have... They may have had things like a dildo, I don't know, made of wood, but like massive 12 inch ones. Why can't you just support me in that I, th I was the one who suggested you should start writing. I suggested that, but you, then you asked me. Then stop my book. You asked me for my opinion, did you not? Yes, but I meant like a bullshit opinion where basically you tell me I'm deadly at everything. Oh, it's gonna seem insincere now, but you are the best one in Ireland at all of the things. You're the best, honestly, in the whole country. I'm talking about romance, Johnny. The spark. When we first started seeing each other, you used to always buy me sexy lingerie. But sure, you still have all that stuff you bought you. Yeah, but my tastes have changed. Which is why I got you a voucher. Oh, my God. Fergus, after putting up a picture on Instagram of all the stuff that he got uh, me for Valentine's Day, he got her chocolates, flowers, and he put a trail of petals leading from the bedroom to the kitchen for some sort of, like, romantic Valentine's Day breakfast. Just in case you've forgotten where it is. It's, a, it's difficult to navigate <laughs> your way there, isn't it? You get lost in that house. Yeah, but I presume she didn't actually think they were from you. No, she did. I mean, they, they'd gone to the trouble of copying the handwriting. They'd use the same kind of parka fountain pen that I use. You know? Did she have a boyfriend, Miss Goofoyle? 
Who knows? Never asked her, you know. She could have a boyfriend. She could be a divorcee. Or she could be one of the other ones. One of the other ones. Oh, Lord. Yeah, but like, could we not go for dinner or something? Yeah, well, I'm, I'll be booking something today, won't I? <laughs> you're going to book something today. On Valentine's Day, you're going to just ring up and book somewhere. No, I meant I've already made the inquiries and just writing on them to come back to me for confirmation and all that, you know? It doesn't matter, Johnny. I work in advertising. I know. I know it's bullshit. Yeah. But still, an old bunch of flowers wouldn't kill you. Yeah, and I will... I, I'll surprise you at some point throughout the year, at regular, irregular intervals throughout the year. I'm not going to... I'm not going to sort of, like, be hoodwinked into being romantic with you on this particular day, you know? Hoodwinked, is it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm hoodwinking you into being No, you're romantic. not. The man is. <laughs> the man. I mean, I'm sure I, I, I told you. Me, if I didn't, maybe it's because I thought you might be acting a little bit, you know, jealous about it. Kind of like the way you are now. Yeah, I'm not acting jealous. It seems to me that you're a little bit jealous. No, I'm, I'm really not, Virgo. Well, you don't have to be. I know. Well, don't be jealous. I'm not. Do you know, for the last three years, I've had to send myself in flowers to the office. That's, that's quite the range, actually, you know. It's, it's very competitive. All the girls, all, it's all like, whose boyfriend made the biggest romantic gesture? Valentine's Day comes around, OK, right. Not only do I have to think about what you might want, but how will it be viewed by your friends in work? Is that, is that how it should be? Yeah. Is that how it is? Yeah. Fucking hell. I'll tell you what I'll do, then. On the way back, maybe we can bring Dave back from accounts. <laughs> yeah? And I'll, sh I'll, I'll bring him up to and include in third base, if you like, and I'll take him for a bite to eat. Look, I'll sort something out, all right? Honestly, it doesn't matter. Love you. Love you too. I'm not okay. going to go in today, because I don't have time. No problem. Oh, and... OK, well, have a nice day. Have a good day, and don't be jealous. I won't. Get out of the car. Thank you. I'll see you at Fallon's at six. Grant. Cheers, for See you later. <laughs> what was that? What? I'm not your elderly aunt. Get in here. Right. I'll see you later. OK, bye. Take it easy. Have a good day. I will. Oh. 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 Hi. Hey, babes. Oh, college was so good today. Yeah? Yeah, we had this acting coach over from LA who taught loads of people like Buffy from Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Tia and Tamara from Sister Sister and Sabrina from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Right. All like my idols, you know? Cool. And like she did this thing with us where we had to be a table. So she'd like tell us, uh, like out of nowhere, she'd just be like, get down on the ground and, and, and be, like, a table. be a table. Be a table, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. How are you? Yeah, Grant. Well. Did you have a nice day? No, I did not. No, of course not. No. The huge. Oh, God, it's cold. How are you? Hi. What a day. What a jam. Oh, kids were at it again. Playing silly buggers. Sending presents with your forged handwriting? Oh, they've gone a little bit deeper now. They're asking questions about me and you and whether or not I was going to pop the question over a romantic dinner tonight. It's mad, isn't it? Like, to them, you must seem absolutely ancient. Kids can be quite intuitive. Out the mouths of babes. And then we did this other thing when, like, people in the group, we were all sitting in a circle and stuff, and when you noticed that someone's energy was down, you had to, like, shoot energy back into them, like, two, 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 two! Like you were in Star Wars or something. So, so, so deadly. It's kind of an acting thing, like, you'd have to... You'd have to be an actor to get it. Be an actor, yeah, of course. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I read your book earlier on again. I gave it another look. Did and, you? Yeah, over lunch. And? Um, let's, I can walk back to my desk, let's, shall we say. So, 
job done there. But no, I was, I don't, I, I was possibly a little bit too harsh on it earlier. Like, yeah, but you know, we've talked about this, Virgil. We're not in any rush. I just think the, the tax breaks alone. Oh, Jesus, Virgil, it's not a business deal. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying that. It's not about money, like, you know, it's just we don't have any commitment. Oh, right, yeah, no. We have a house together, Fergal, but it's a huge commitment. It is. It really is. We're not getting out of that. Well, uh, listen, I hope you didn't have much of a big lunch today. Ah, Johnny, because... I'll go to the gym tomorrow, Jesus. No, I meant, like... Hang on, I just got a text. <laughs> it's Claire. She just said, Sue, 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 Sue. Of course it is, yeah. Sue, <laughs> Sue. How do you spell Sue, Sue? Sue. But, uh, so, yeah, anyway, with that in mind, I, uh... I got you this. It's a little last, not much, but just. No just, way. Yeah. Ah, what is that? It's a uh, moleskin, uh, you know, kind of notes for your for your uh, writing and book and stuff. Thank you. No worries. It's very sweet. It is. I was thinking about this morning and, you know, perfume gate. Ah, uh, don't worry that. about it. It's grand. No, 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 no. No, you got me thinking and, you know, you're probably right. Maybe I have been taking us for granted a little bit. So, uh, I've called in a few favours, and uh, tonight, my love, we are going to the Radisson for a five-course meal and an overnight stay in the suite. Woohoo! Well, why did you do that? Why did I do that? Well, this morning, you, you wanted... Yeah, but I got a call today. I have an audition in the morning. Did you not get me text? Yeah, but I think it was serious. Like, it's just a short uh, film or something, they're all, they're all serious, Johnny, though. It's my career, you know? If we're gonna start to have children, then we must begin to learn yeah. to be... Yeah, okay, whoa. Whoa, okay. You know, I'm 28. I have plenty of time to be having children. And, like, we have never even had a pet together. Do you know what I mean? Like, we can't start having kids together. But we're not ready. We know that. I know that, you know that. We're just not ready to start having children. Do you know what? I think we should get a pet. I had to put a deposit on that mail for tonight. I knew I'm not going to get it back and going to lose it. Well, why don't you just go for the meal? Like, bring one of your friends or something. Bring Carl, your twin with the gout. You know we can't eat rich foods. What, did you get me in? No. Well, I didn't know you were going to get me in, then. Well, I, that's not... I'm not just going to go around handing out gifts willy-nilly if I don't think I'm going to get it back. Yeah, you must be prudent in these tough times. I'm not going to some swanky hotel with Carl, like some sort of a weirdo, just because you've got some crappy little audition in the morning. Crappy little audition? Right, I, I didn't mean that, right? Look, look, this morning you were telling me I don't make enough romantic gestures, and then I go and make one, and you just throw it back in my face. No, Johnny, I'm not. I'm not throwing it back in your face. <sighs> Fuck's sake. What, like a goldfish or something? No, they're a bit rubbish. I'd say a dog would be better. Like, better no way, no way, Fergal. Better like, crack. No, a dog, like, it wouldn't be fair. We're not there all day, it just wouldn't be right, right in the dog. But dogs are very, like, they're very needy, and I have had a bit too much of that in my life, to be honest. I'll tell you what, um, I'll cook you dinner tonight, how about that? Well, it's your turn to cook anyway, so. Um, I've cooked three nights on the bench, so it's your turn to cook anyway. I've got an idea. Yeah? If you'll allow me. Um, stand Up 69er. Your book has given me inspiration. How about we do a Stand Up 69? Stand Come Up 69er. Yeah. Got your frowners on again. Got me frowners on. Give us a smile. Oh. Come on, give us a smile. No. Give me a smile. Good wave, you'll crash the no, car. Give me Stop. A smile. <laughs> I'm Come gonna here. crash the car. Come here. Good wave, good wave. What's that? Would you bring me card into work, would you? Would you get me a new card with no butterflies on it? Oh! Okay, well, I don't know for a good cat. Too independent. They have uh, horrible 
personalities. And if someone down the road starts feeding it, bang, gone, out the picture, no cat. Yeah, but you know, like if the cat's, if the cat's had enough and it wants to get out, it's, you know, it's free to make that decision for itself. I don't see anything wrong with that. Are you fucking joking me? Look, it's perfectly innocent. A fucking Valentine's card from your ex-wife. What the fuck, Johnny? Look, there's nothing in it. It's just tradition it is. That's all it is. Just for the kids. Look, it's from up from all and the kids. The kids are grown up now. They're over it. It's a tradition, right? Every holidays we send each other cards. That's nothing in it at all. You sent her one as well. Yeah, but like as I said, it's just just for the kids. What are what are the logistics of that? How would that even work? Uh, it'll have to be me. It's that you couldn't take. I wouldn't ha ask you to take the wife. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'll be me. You want to get a grip of yourself? Well, no, let you ask me. Uh, I'll be standing up. <laughs> Reverse ways. Just think of a normal 69, but just no bed. Standing up. I'll tell you what. Yeah? We'll go to Tesco. Get a shitload of beers. Yeah? Get me locked. Yeah. And then we'll talk about it. Did you send her the same card as you sent me? No, of course I didn't. There's love in this. Would you not be ridiculous? There is, there's love in the writing. Oh, what, so all of a sudden you're a cartographer, are you? That's maps, you gobshite. Okay, I hear what you're saying. You've twisted my arm. We're getting a cat. For God, I didn't even want to get a cat in the first place, and I actually predicted no, 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 like no, no, cats. No, 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 I'm just no, giving no, an no, analogy. Neve, 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 neve. Stop backtracking. I know exactly what you mean. I'm going to need to pin you down on this stand of 69, if I can. Pin me down on yeah, this? Yeah, 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 exactly. Why? Pin me down, yeah. <clears throat> we must get you reading the erotica more often. I know. Sell off. Give me a horn that could pull a cow out of a dish. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say in the card that you sent her? Oh, I don't know. Best of luck, Johnny or something. Yeah, I'm sure you did. She might want to be romancing. Well, she's, she's got that young fella now, Josh, or whatever his name is. And you don't see me sending Josh cards saying best of luck with that mad bitch, do you? And home. Oh, nice one. Yeah. Oh, fuck. What? The wine. The most important ingredient. Oh, well. What are we going to do? I don't know, let's compromise. Blow job. Craig, you got me a mouse good notebook, not a fucking Ferrari. Get into the house. Right. Look. We'll go out and pick one after dinner. It'll be good, Craig. No, Fergal. We have plans for tonight. You know, I, you know, already have your kind of Special present planned. Yeah. Play, play by ear. The present. Play it by ear. Looking forward to this cat. 